Thank you for clicking on the video. Here today, this is a special edition of Why I Own It, the 4th of July edition. And first and foremost, I just want to say happy 4th of July to everybody out there, especially our service men and women. Uh, I greatly appreciate what you guys do. But it's 4th of July, so what better movie to talk about here today on Why I Own It than Independence Day. So stay tuned. So, Independence Day. This is a classic 90s sci-fi action blockbuster movie. When this came out, I can still remember that summer of how big this movie was and growing up how influential this was to me and like my age group of my friends and everything. And I have two versions of this in my collection. I have the Five Star Collection DVD from Fox, which is right here. I also have this hodgepodge edition, like some of my other videos, of Independence Day and Independence Day Resurgence on Blu-ray. And I own both of these kind of for two different reasons. This Five Star Collection is actually one of the very first DVDs I ever bought, way back in the day from FYE. And I bought this and the Die Hard trilogy on the Five Star Collection. And that's one of the very first DVDs I ever remember buying on my own when I was a teenager. So this holds some sentimental value to me. But I own this because of that, but also because I really like the picture and the audio quality and the special features that are on here. Up until the most recent 4K release, the special features that were on this disc never got ported over to any of the Blu-rays, uh, to my understanding, from looking at various websites. Uh, they did get ported over to the 4K release that came out a handful of years ago. But prior to that, this was the only release that carried those extra bonus features of like all the mockumentary uh, news reports and like just different things and making of documentaries and stuff. This was the only edition you could get it on. So in some of my other videos, I talked about how I went through a phase where I was huge into special features and behind the scenes documentaries and just making of stuff and practical effects videos and things. So this was a mainstay for me along with a few other films that had these special features about documentaries and making of stuff. So that was a big reason why I kept this. But also, I have the 2008 Blu-ray version. And when doing kind of an A-B comparison, the Blu-ray has a lot more clarity and the color detail and everything, color depth, is a lot better on it, admittedly. There are some artifacts and banding issues and clarity issues on this five-star edition. But the Blu-ray from 2008 is pretty good quality in terms of audio and, and video. Uh, however, it lacks almost all the special features. It's a very bare-bones disc. I think it only has one special feature, which is like an alien invasion minigame and a couple audio commentaries. Other than that, this is a very bare bones disc. Uh, but I've kept this one, I found this used at a thrift store years ago. And I've always kept it for just the reason of the clarity and the picture quality and the audio is really good on this disc. Uh, but I've also always kept this because of sentimental reasons for being one of the very first DVDs I ever bought. Uh, but also, I really like the picture quality outside of the banding issues. And audio quality on this disc for a DVD, is, this was really like a reference DVD for a long time, uh, up until Blu-ray came around. But I really like the special features. And uh, maybe one day if I get the 4K release, uh, maybe I won't really need these anymore because the special features would be on there and whatever. But for right now, the reason I own these two versions are mainly because the special features and some sentimental value on this five-star edition. And the picture and audio quality is really good, in my opinion, on this Blu-ray. So with that being said, it's Independence Day, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let's watch this and go fight some aliens. Go America. Thank you.